Hello and welcome to my creative test world. How are you doing? Uh, today I've got something a little bit different, a little bit special for you. It's a completely universal all-in-one breeder cooker. So this will do your cows, your sheep, your pigs, chickens and even rabbits as well. Now you can see that I've already got a few there waiting to grow but we'll pop on up and I'll feed some and you'll see it all working then so we'll start with got rabbits in here so we'll feed them up and this design is based on my previous rabbit farm design and we jump down you should see the rabbits there they go click the lovely XP next up we've got the pigs Uh, there he is, and then the cows, there he is, and the sheep, and then finally the chickens, and he should be popping down, there he is. Now I know what you're thinking. You think in DB you're a fool. There are far more efficient ways of breeding and cooking chickens. And yeah, you'd be right. <laughs> you'd be completely right. But this is the all in one breeder cooker. And I couldn't call it that and then not have chickens. It just wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't work, would it? So they're in there and they're staying, okay? But <laughs> anyway, we'll put on down. What I'll do is I'll wait for these to grow and then I'll give you a demonstration of the cooking process of this all-in-one breeder cooker. Okay, so I think enough of them are adults now. So we can fire this up. Now, it's always a little bit tricky balancing all the different mobs because obviously they've got different amounts of health and they're different heights as well. So what works with some mobs doesn't work with others. So this killing method uses a combination of fire damage and fall damage. Um, pretty much things like the rabbits and the chickens, they'll just die from the fire damage. Uh, but the larger mobs like the cows, they need the additional fall damage as well. But we'll fire it up and we'll have a look. There they go. See the chickens and the rabbits have gone and they should be pouring in. Yeah. Rabbit, chicken, beef. So all the things are there and it's all cooked. Now this farm is quite a modular design. Uh, you can expand it outwards or sideways or even stack them up. So I'm not gonna show you how to build this exact farm as this was just a mock-up just to quickly demonstrate. But what I will do is show the breeding modules and the killing mechanism, and then you're free to just design it however you want then. So we jump on down and we'll start with the breeding chamber. So each chamber is four wide and three deep, and they're three high as well. So you build the back wall, three high like so. Then you take some trap doors and then in the middle block but on the top edge you place a trap door like that and then you can encase the ends and I'll just put glass across the front so you can see what's going on like so and then I'll go grab an animal there you go And you just want to make sure that they're standing on a trapdoor each, like so. And then you can feed them, and you'll see that the baby spawns below the trapdoor and it just drops straight down. So, anyway, that's the breeding mechanism. The rabbit breeder, I've already designed one over there, so I'll leave a, a card and a link in the description to that tutorial. 
Okay, so now it's time to build the killing mechanism. So get some space. What you want to do is dig a trench that's three long and one deep. You place a chest in the middle and then a hopper going into the back of that and then three glass on top of the chest and then three building blocks and then the next step is to surround the hopper with blocks and then bring it up to the same height as that And then on the front side, you want to place a dispenser facing in towards the centre hole, like so. And then an observer opposite it, facing in towards the centre as well. And next, you want to take a sticky piston. Let's just sort this bit out. There you go. So you want a sticky piston, which will be facing into the block below the observer that block there like so and then you want to place a repeater on top of the piston and set it to two ticks that repeater needs to be facing into a solid block and then that block will have a redstone torch on it like that Next, bring out three solid blocks from below the sticky piston. Uh, that last one's actually temporary, so you can get rid of that. And then you just want to line that with redstone dust. And then you'll see that'll close the hole. And all that's left to do now is just to build up the rest of the drop chute. So the first layer is all solid blocks. And then solid blocks across the back wall where the observer is and then the rest is glass and all that's left to do now is to fill the dispenser so we'll do that like so and grab a button ready Just place a button on it like that and if I grab a, a spawn egg I can give you a quick demonstration So I'll just drop a few k's in there. That will do. Give it a blast. My k's take a little bit longer to cook because of their health. But there they go. And we should start seeing. Yep. There they go. All the cooked beef and the leather. And that's all there is to it, really. So if you've got any questions or anything, then drop them down in the comments. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, then please do leave a like. And if you want to see more from me, then please do subscribe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.